One of the most intriguing characters in the House of the Dragon is Larys Strong, one of Alicent Hightower's most dangerous allies. But what are his real intentions? Does he just want to be with the Queen, or do you think he also has aspirations to the throne? In this video, we'll be stepping forward to talk about the mysterious Larys Strong. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, you just have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed November 20th. Larys Strong comes to King's Landing, thanks to his father, Lionel Strong, becoming the Hand of the King. One of the most frequent themes in this season of the House of the Dragon, are the second sons of the houses. We saw the conflict between Daemon and Viserys, Vaemond and Corlys, Eamon and Aegon, and of course, Lyris and Harwin. Daemon explained, second sons should fight for things, the same thing Sir Criston Colt told Eamon. Harwin Strong, by birth was entitled to the castle and regions of Harenhal. However, he became Rhaenyra's close friend. Rumors in the kingdom point out that he is the real father of the princess's children. Dishonor for that, falls on the strong family. Harwin's father decides to take his son back to Harenhal, and thus put an end to these rumors and troubles once and for all. But Laris had something in store for them. He took several prisoners, removed their tongues, and hired them to end the lives of his father and brother. Obviously, their tongues were removed so that they could not tell who hired them to do that. Lyris, after committing this act, goes to Alicent to explain what happened, and lets her know that he was responsible. Obviously this disconcerts the Queen, who does not know how to react to this. Lyris has killed off his own family to help Alicent, so that Otto can once again become the Hand of King Viserys. But then, what is going on with Lyris? Is he in love with Alicent? Does he have some kind of obsession with her? Is there something else going on? Although, from Alicent's perspective, Lyris is a strange person who has dark desires for her. Actually when we analyze what happens with Lyris, we realize that behind his strange behavior, there is a great ambition for power. The moment Lyris took the lives of his father and brother, he became the Lord of Harenhal. What Lyris did, was a criminal act that could be considered, not only treason to Harenhal and his family, but also to his kingdom. If the desire to be the Lord of Harenhal was what drove Lyris, we fully understand his actions. Lyris took advantage of the fact that Alicent had a need to increase his power. In Alicent's eyes, poor Lyris has sacrificed his family for her. But the reality is that Lyris did it to increase his power, and besides that, now Alicent owed him a favor, almost impossible to repay. If at some point it is discovered that Lyris had been the person who caused the fire, surely Alicent would help him, for she has the kingdom on her side. In the book Fire and Blood, it explains what people in Cole thought about what happened to Lionel and Harwin Strong. Some people thought that it was King Viserys who ordered the attack, in order to prevent rumors about his grandchildren from continuing. Others thought that after Daemon's wife lost her life, Daemon ordered the fire, in order to get closer to Rhaenyra, and subsequently took the life of Laenor Valerian as well. Of course, some people were suspicious of Lyris. But what is clear from the opinion of the people in Westeros is that there were too many people with too many interests to be able to determine for certain who the culprit was. Lyris has waited for the perfect moment to take down his brother and father, and seize the power he desired. He has followed to the letter the phrase, that chaos is a staircase. Now, Lyris has become Alicent's rumored advisor. Although he has not yet been given that title. Lyris, like Otto and Miss Arya, have acquired power by making a network of spies in the kingdom. There are more important things than money, 
and in this case, information is what could determine whether a person continues to live or not. Lara's is someone too valuable to the Greens. But we saw something strange in his behavior in episode number 9. The first thing is that during the night, he arrives at the Queen's chambers uninvited. Allison's expression upon seeing him is one of frustration. But Lara's tells him that he has important information about the King's hand. That is, Otto. The one who first found Aegon. Allison then sits down and takes off her shoes. Lara's explains to Allison that Otto is allowing a network of spies to exist within the Golden Fortress. Allison understands that this puts her in danger and asks her if that spy ring is watching her. Lara's remains silent and Allison removes her stockings. Lara's then begins to speak. The payback Allison has to make to Lara's no doubt came as a surprise to everyone. But it could mean a lot more than we thought. Some people might think that Laris is simply satisfying his desires. That he loves the queen, but can't be with her. But the reality is that if this were the case, he would not withhold information from her, and he would not lead her to do what she does, in exchange for that information. What I think is going on here, is that Laris has manipulated Allison so much, that he has managed to have a power over her that the queen has not been able to control. The most important thing to Allison is her family, her vows and her honor. Having to show a part of herself, to pay for information, is humiliating for Allison. But the priority in her life is her family, and Lyra's knows that. This is why Lyra's mentions Aegon to her. Now Allison, not only owes a debt to Lyra's, for ending his family so that Otto can be the hand, but Allison also keeps secrets with Lyra's, which could cause her great trouble in the kingdom. If Lara's goal is to have power, just like Otto, he is not needed to become king. If Lara's can walk into the queen's room at any time he wishes, and ask her to do what she did, this means that Lara's influence is equal to, if not greater than Otto's influence over Viserys. This officially makes him one of the most dangerous people in the kingdom. But then, what is his ultimate goal? I think Lara is, like Otto, understood that he can achieve what he wants, and have all the power without having to sit on the throne. He doesn't need to be king, he just needs to influence the king. Lara is one of the characters we must follow very carefully. This character will be a major player in the coming war. The Dance of the Dragons has begun, and not only dragons will be used in this battle. Intelligence, espionage, and military strategies will determine who is the winner. But tell me, what do you think of Lara's Strong? What do you think is his ultimate goal? Is he the same as Otto? Since Otto only seeks power by getting as close as he can to the king or queen. And for more videos of theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on, the Three-Eyed Raven.